share with you today how I try to live frugally so that I can align my daily decisions in my goal of being financially independent and financially free. Hi guys, I am Joyce. I'm a nurse here in the UK, here to share with you my life story and my journey. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking and if you are a returnee, thank you so much for continuously supporting me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as this really supports the channel. I'm in a point in my life right now where I am able to have a few pounds left after paying bills. Also seldom experience having too much month at the end of the money and that is something that I am really pleased. But being here and seeing others lifestyle, uh, seeing people of my same age living a luxurious life makes me question the life that I'm living. Um, every time that I receive my paycheck, I would be someone who is so scrunched up with my calculator and my spreadsheet trying to figure out how to best allocate my money and where I have automated everything so that the only things left on my account is the one that I am free to spend yet there are people who are just yeah going for holidays all the time buying this and that going here and there eating out so often and then I would question like how the heck am I, am I not able to afford that kind of lifestyle? That's where frugality comes in. Everything seems to be viable at this time where when you save up for it, you would be able to get it. Yet, being frugal is being intentional to what you buy and not being wasteful of the resource, resource that you have, which is time, money, focus, and energy. This is a known effective trick because whenever we try to write something and put it somewhere where we would always see it, it is an encoding effect where the more you write it and the more you see it, it becomes more etched in your mind and especially in the hippocampus where things get analyzed. Also when you write, it is powering the generation effect where you remember more when you write things. Culture sets the norm and putting yourself in an environment where frugality is normal gives less friction to your life. If you are in a group where you are always on saying no for going out, saying no to expensive things or saying no to spending money, it can be difficult because one day you will just really give in and say fine, everybody's doing it, I'm gonna do it. If you find a group of people who saves, who likes to save and has a has a goal of financial independence then what they're doing is going to be normal for you and there's going to be less friction and it is easier to vote for the person that you would want to be which is frugal and in the future financially independent yes we have different tastes and preferences to things but i think we can all agree to the fact that we can find happiness in the simplest of things if as of now extravagance is going to be a stretch to your budget and your lifestyle then find the intrinsic value of the things that you want to do which is luxurious for example it's going for holiday with friends the intrinsic value of that is getting quality time with your friends or your family why not find an activity where you get to spend time with your friends without having to spend so much in everything that we do there is a trade-off cost opportunity is not just the money that you use to pay for whatever it is that you want to buy or purchase or want to experience buy it is also about the time you traded to get the money to use for the purchase the effort the focus the energy I also remind myself that having cash or having a stash of money gives me the power to say no to things that i don't want to do if i have spent it somewhere i lose more of that power the trick that always works for me is thinking about how much this amount of money would compound to if I don't spend it and instead invested it in, a, in an index fund and with the average of probably let's just say 4% you would see how much that money has grown this stuff that you would want to buy it probably is just gonna be something worthless in the next few years with our access to social media it is way easier to compare our lives to others this can both drive motivation and envy and if it's the latter then we are doomed 
being envious might make you work harder but it will never get you to a point where you are happy and satisfied with the life that you're living on the other hand it can make you do things that will hurt your finances the only reason that we should look at our neighbors achievements is when we want to celebrate with them delaying a purchase really helps me a lot whenever I think of something that I would want to purchase I would put it in the basket and on the seventh day evaluate if it still holds the same glory if it doesn't then I would realize how on that time it was almost an impulse buying Focus your buying power on things that you really want and love to do. Instead of buying things that are trendy, why not invest that money to buy quality things that you truly value and love? And if you, like me, would find yourself in a position where you question why you're bringing food at work, why you're commuting, why you delay that holiday, or why you delay that purchase, think of your why. Think of why you are doing this and think of the reason why you want to be financially independent. You can do this as often as you like. Do this every day or do this twice a day if you have to. Going back to your why would remind you why this is all gonna be worth it. And last but not the least, and the most important, do not deprive yourself. Frugality doesn't mean that you have to be a miser of, or a cheapskate. Frugality is about not being wasteful of whatever you have so that you can spend that money on things that truly make you happy. So if something is costly, but if it truly adds value to your life, then go ahead, do it. That's what I tell myself. <laughs>